Thank you, thank you, thank you. We got 16 people on board. We're waiting on 100 people. Then we can start. Yeah. Just listen to this choir. We have 21 people. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Share, 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 and invite. Please. Keep sharing, keep sharing. Yeah, I can see a lot of people joining. Tanka, Toti, Elizabeth Muma, Aza, Sarah, Ekea. Jenny Louise Asanji. <coughs> I can see a lot of people joining. That's great. We are at 37 people. We, we expect to get quite much participation today because uh, of the breaking news that you have just heard from the Secretary of Communication, Chris Arno. Now um, I'm here as the spokesperson for the DMV West Virginia Delaware area to re echo the happening of today. So please invite, invite, share, share for people to join, to join so that they can have, uh, you can have the original briefing. Yes. Oh. Um, Freezing. Okay, let me see. Let me check my settings. I'll reduce some of the networks. This yeah sorry i was checking my settings and internet connections at home to be sure that all of you can get me quite clear because we're about to discuss about very important issues very important breaking news in the District of Columbia, Maryland, Virginia, West Virginia, and Delaware region. Yeah, there's, there's a lot that has gone on. There's a lot of happening in the past uh, few hours, as you must have noticed. And I'm here to comment about them and to let you know that everything is in order now. Yeah. We have 40 people on board. Oh, Langshia Doratos. Deba, I'm seeing you. Janet Taku Eno from NS, Gabi Achunque. Uh, welcome on board. Amaka, happy Sunday. I know it's late night now in Nigeria. How are you? Bali Bali. Ah, you are frozen. Am I frozen now? Confirm to me that everything is okay by thumbs up, please. Wow, 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 wow. Thank you. Everything is good now. Yeah, everything is good now. It should be there. Let's give some 
three or four more minutes for some people to join some more people to join so that we can proceed uh, i don't have much to say today it's just a, a breaking news that i have to also re-echo as the subject matter goes is the ig spokesperson for gmb west virginia delaware who re echoes uh, the acting interim president and acting vice president emergence as a new energy for the Ambazonia revolution yep yeah amaka i'm good oh thanks thanks it's, the video is clear now okay thank you amaka one moment <laughs> I'm back trying just to check my settings. Yeah. On and up and frozen again. I have to check my settings, please. I have to check my settings. To be sure. If everything is okay, man, you guys can confirm. Without that, which I have to switch to my cell phone. If it's okay, you have to confirm, please, before we begin. Yeah. Let me check. Let's see. If everything is okay. Okay. Everything is good now, yeah. Okay, uh, we shall begin with the anthem. As usual. We shall begin with the anthem as usual. The Ambazonia lyrics. Let's start with it. And then um we shall proceed with what I have for you people today. Yeah. Yeah, good evening, good night, everybody. I uh, believe say it be very late for me to come up this kind of time. Now, first of its kinds, I come up a little bit late. Um, I uh, believe say for Ambalan now, now about 11 10 past 11 p.m. And uh, for Washington, D.C. area, my region is about uh, 10 minutes after 5 p.m. And in Europe, it be also uh, close to midnight. Um, I'll be happy to see a lot of people join in today. And uh, when I know say, now because of uh, if, if an emergency, no day, I know will come out for times that will not be my usual time. Because when I know say, I usually come out on a Saturday or Sunday. Saturday or Sunday. Sometimes Saturday, midday, regularly, but uh, sometimes Saturdays or Sundays. But for today, I decide to come uh, live 
for about uh, this kind of time now because one the first most important thing be being of unveil unveil or reveal who be we acting interim president and vice to continue the struggle so we be go out for go do the unveiling and when we be finish the unveiling uh secretary chris anu be come out and it be echo for una it be announced for una who be at the leadership of the struggle who be at the leadership of the struggle at this particular time when the original leader is in jail or is abducted has been abducted and the whereabout be unknown we know we say in jail because the whereabout be unknown nobody has seen our leaders since getting to one month which will be tomorrow one month that our leaders have not been found no word no communication with their family members of whatever sort has been uh, uh proven to us none of our own members of our team no our attorneys have been able to see our leaders so that is why as the popular saying goes away still time na fail we decide so we know she don't begin to waste time they fail so we don't see say for this one month we energy don't be diverted this we don't be distracted for go talk about irrelevance we start the accused finger this one point finger for the one the one point finger for the one the one blame this one that a confusion that way they take her into will come they bring confusion into will come so we give a gather with energy them back them push the confusion back for their camp and we don't succeed today for push that confusion back for la republic come by telling la republic say no no get now only one leader we get eight million leaders and if you take one other one they go other one they will just fill in the blank space now we get at the helm of the struggle the young energetic dynamic intelligent philosopher dr common sense dr sako dr sako Samuel Sako is our acting interim president. As they don't really tell Una today and announce them by Secretary Chris Anu. They don't announce them for Una. And I wonder when I see I'll be delaying my session. I'll be saying, I will come until Secretary Chris come give Una the information directly from the interim government. Because when Secretary Chris give we information, we get a chain of communication. When Secretary Chris Anu get the information from the interim government, when he give the information, then we, the regional spokespeople, we coordinate or we re echo the information for now. We re echo them so that everybody for your own region will understand which way it go on. So, particularly, it just be said you on a social media way, I used to talk normally, my social media became a big target now on my own region, but things na social media way, you know, we restrict how they go. I did now give my message to the whole world for all the citizens of the Federal Republic of Amazonia worldwide to know that as of today, we have an acting interim president who is Dr. Samuel Sako, popularly known as Dr. Common Sense. And then he assistant or a vice president, na Milton Tucker. Milton Tucker, who was the uh, undersecretary for communication. I want to be watching all day, all time for SCBC. So we get very young and dynamic, more younger people for champion this struggle and for hold that position until we leaders they will return back from the work away to go, uh, from the abduction, from the abduction or from the jail or from wherever the people they were the whole leaders them. Now only they know where we they did. So now the breaking news that we are bring of owner this evening. Now for announcement, owner, and I believe so. When I don't already see pictures, them I don't already put the pictures them online, the photographs today, where we unveil our new acting by acting president, acting uh, interim president AIP, acting interim president. Yeah, to hold the office until the re return of our president. We go get now one president only, uh, Seseko Ayoktabe Julius will be um, abducted and sings with alongside others and we'll never hear from them from from one for one month close to one month tomorrow way tomorrow we'll make one month so we decide for bring up an acting interim president and an acting interim vice president where they go pilot the affairs and keep more give more steam into the revolution and give more energy so that we feel change the dimension and do greater things like we did do before because the speed will be the move before
La Republic, we know say if we continue for that speed, by now we don't we'll train for we'll already reach for Boya. But wait where they do not say they will decide for say they go distract we, they distract we, but they not take we off the rails because our train is back and moving to Boya. We no mistake. So please, ladies and gentlemen, I read a comment here, Dr. Samuel Sako, please clear the swamp. All those who, who are suspects should be fired first no access to our fires correct now another information that i'll bring up for now because normally and i believe as i know dr sako would take that kind of that measures the way just right like that because it'd be very important so anybody where you don't get anything to do with whatsoever in in accusation the way they go around the air any person where it stand a chance for being propped for whatsoever be it financial issues administrative issues or conniving with others for for, for the downfall of whatsoever anybody will be suspect suspected of any list 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 accusation get for step back step aside and leave people with clean, more clean clean records leave people with more intelligence leave people with more brighter uh, uh common sense leave people that even ordinary people the way they get common sense with the passive people the way they go to school make them them to get for take the lead in this thing because this thing not be only for one particular class of people this thing of all man any man will get a good uh, 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 will and really be serious and be a diehard in this struggle where you know go let the struggle down you know go backstab you know go you know you know go gossip you know go plot with the republic to come for bring down with people now that kind of people then now we want them um, for lead this revolution so the interim government as well and as i know and as i hear from the talks of a background for interim government as 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 original member of the ig where i be at the tell when i say and they assure all my people that say interim government not sleep interim government wants to put the records now straight and when i know dr common says that a no nonsense man we mean say he no need he, he be very strict like first is a pastor is a reverend is a pastor and anything that does not go to reason or do, is not of the lord does not dr common says doesn't buy it at all i've worked with him you people have seen me and him uh, both of us uh, uh uh taking on live sessions about these struggles especially when 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 it came to the northwest southwest divide issue you saw that i and him talked about it and calmed it down and everybody was happy when it came to our understanding that 99.99 percent of northwesterners and southwesterners are all for the independence of Amazonia, and all of them have lost people as well and all of them are victims from the hands of this monster the monster of Yaoundé, the monster, the dictator, and his uh, his uh, his his troops of disorderliness who are who keep killing, maiming, raping, and uh, torturing our people, burning down houses, burning down ninety-five years old women in houses, killing people up to shooting a madman. I saw the other day that one of my patients, a mad person, was uh, was shot by a military officer. In Cameroon, and that is terrible. If you can shoot and shoot up to a mad person, then the government itself is really mad. So we have to bring these things under control. We must not let La Republic to consider all of us as uh, as criminals, consider all of us as terrorists, consider all of us as 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 extremists. Give us names that are names that should be attributed to the worst kind of people in the world of which they themselves ironically are the ones sponsoring state terrorism anarchy and uh, disaster on our people so we have decided to take the bull by the horns that it is, is no turning back we are not going back we are going forward until the last man standing and that is why when you abduct one of our leaders we bring you another leader when you take them the republic has failed to learn they have failed to learn from history because I, I learned I learned in, in, in my good books that um, a good leader is one who who learns from something and doesn't repeat it anymore. But this government will go down in the annals of history to be one that has forgotten everything and has learned nothing. Because they would have learned at least that when you can each time you kidnap or you abduct or you detain or arrest leaders of the revolution, the next leader gonna be more stronger more energized and more careful than the others yeah it, it happened it happened when they took mancho bbc 
uh, 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 Abu Tassan and the others, uh, 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 when they when they, when they chased them and arrested them, it grew it grew it grew to other heights. The battle just changed dimension into a higher magnitude. You have taken now uh, Seseko. Now we we'll give you now a bitter pill. We we'll give you a bitter pill. We we'll give you Doctor Common Sense. He's well situated here in the United States of America and well protected in the land of democracy and freedom. We will see how the Republic will enter United States to kidnap somebody now. This is an assignment for them. They can do all that with shithole countries, with shithole countries. The leadership of this organism of, of, our, of, our, of our country has shifted to the United States of America. It has shifted to the United States of America. It's no more Nigeria. It's no more Nigeria. And we are giving the Republic a bitter assignment now to see how they can orchestrate interstate terrorism in the United States of America. The leadership comes here now. And we know that the Republic of Cameroon will know no peace when the leadership of this organization is planted in the United States of America. The land of freedom and democracy. It's not the land, the land of shithole politics. The land of shithole politics, the land of abductions, the land of imprisonment, the land of uh, being being found guilty before trial, the land of maiming, the land of raping. That is the Republic. Shithole countries. We shall not entrust the leadership of Ambazonia to people who can easily be abducted, to people who are susceptible to the Republic of Cameroon government to come in at night, connive with the foreign government to kidnap our leaders as if they are coming to get a, 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 a little child in the hospital or in the maternity ward. That is why it was but well resonated. It was well resonated by the members of the governing council and the members of the uh, county heads and the members of the cabinet to have carried out the, the nomination process, the vetting, and the enthronement of an acting interim president who will hold the seat of His Excellency Seseko, who is our president, until he returns. And the choice of Dr. Sako was a very wise choice, in my opinion, because you all of you have heard, you have followed Dr. Sako, you have followed my, myself, you have followed a lot of us, you have followed Mark Barretta, you have followed Tapang Ivo, you have followed all of us speaking and when we speak you understand at what level we can resonate so that you can trust us someday with the with, 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 with the position of leadership if you can judge for yourself that this person is speaking something that makes sense to you and that from speaking that something that makes sense to you when it comes to decision making you see that that person can be able to resonate uh, and make decisions that are well informed not shithole decisions, not the kind of decisions made in Yaoundé, not the kind of decisions made in Nigeria to kidnap people and disappear them into the dungeons of hell without any damn statement getting to a week. Forgetting these people have families, they have wives, they have children, they have extended families, they have above all their population that they do govern. I mean, you can't you can't take people who are sitting down to deliberate in a meeting to take care of refugees and to take care of uh, uh, people who have been chased into the bushes with, with machine guns and bombs, uh, whose houses have been burned, people who are struggling for survival, who are in forest, people who, are, who have gotten into another country as stateless people. You just get you just get up overnight and you go and round up people who are sitting on a table trying to see how they can feed these people, trying to see how they can give them water to drink, trying to see how the the, the, the pregnant women who are there in Nigeria could, could 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 have access to medical facilities, to delivery and whatsoever. You just get up and you round all of them and give them a name. You are a terrorist. You are a terrorist. Terrorist comes with bombs and guns and and all kind of swords and missiles and those are terrorists. The IG we don't IG is no terrorist. Interim government is not made up of terrorists. Made up of well-renowned, educated, uh, well-to-do uh, young people who have uh, who have the who have their country at heart and who are able to 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 lead the people of Amazonia to freedom. 
and they are able they are able to collaborate with everyone who has good intention who has good intention for the people not to collaborate with gangsters not to collaborate with people who have also ironically been planted in their midst so that they can sabotage any good intention we have for the struggle people who will then participate back with la republic du cameroon and then spoil our houses for some of us to be eliminated is this the kind of uh, the kind of uh, la republic politics we shall continue to play no we have to continue with with, with level-headed guys in this revolution who can design good policies who can design uh, good administrative papers and who can also sit down and and use reason reasoning i mean to to use well logical uh, resonated ideas uh, to convince you people why we should go this direction and not this direction not people whose emotions will supersede their reasoning this is what you should expect from your IG. The IG has experts, have team of uh, well uh, 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 experienced guys and who have held many positions. You have pastors who are also in the IG. You have uh, uh, IT communicators who are in the IG. You have people who have done uh, business management, finance that can handle your monies. You may you have people of all type of domains, but when it comes to uh, 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 other areas that I know that the IG may be lacking. The IG now calls for all of you to bring up your ideas on the various fields so that we can put the ideas together and then go to Boya. Because going to Boya is what we need. But going to Boya must be done in a coordinated, in a coordinated form under the IG. And that is why when there is a small, um, when, 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 when La Republic was so interested, was so interested in decapitating the IG, La Republic was so interested. The newspapers had already carried it in, in, in La Republic in Cameroon that uh, the, IG, the IG has been decapitated. The IG has been decapitated. That by arresting uh, uh, Seseko and 12 or 13 others, the IG has been decapitated. So it is. we have proven them wrong today. We have proven them wrong today. And as I, I know that as, as, as most of you are watching, uh, 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 La Republic is also watching. So as they are watching, they should take this message uh, that uh, Dr. Nick Santos is telling them. The interim spokesperson and the Ngambe man for the revolution is bringing them a message this evening or this night that uh, we have not been decapitated. The IG has not been decapitated. The IG has resurfaced. The IG has re-energized. The IG has re-emerged strong today and stronger and even stronger. Than even when they adopted our leaders because the people who have taken this M of office are more younger people and younger people have more younger ideas and more young blood and more young uh, uh, and more vibrant and can be can be also more dangerous can be also more dangerous so if they they, they are keeping those people that they claim so called they are terrorists those people who are who have a track record of being professors of zaria university for the past 20 years whose students are now crying the absence of their professors of universities that they have adopted uh, 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 uh it it experts in american universities who have been there for 20 years and known of well track good track record of success if you are condemning these people that they are terrorists then we have given him now a reverend we have given him now a reverend a reverend a, a child of god dr common sense sako samuel sako who is a child of god and a reverend and a preacher of god to lead us to boya because i had a vision even and i've been hearing from many sources also from some revelations that it was it was going to be a man of god that would take us to boya here you have it you have a man of god who will take us to Boya and uh, is piloting that train to Boya until somewhere along the line uh, we, we may have our leaders back, we may not have our leaders back. When they come then, they will then understand themselves and uh, reorganize and, con and just join back, I mean, uh, to continue the revolution from where they left it. Because we can't sit down waiting and keep crying for this distraction that we have been crying for the past month. Where is our leaders? Where is our leader? Where are they? Where are they? Everybody has been crying. That is a big distraction to the revolution, and we won't stay. Uh, we we won't we won't we won't fall cheap into that La Republic scat. We won't fall cheap into into La Republic scat because we 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 we, we some sort of have had people too in our midst 
who have embraced La Republic's card and wants to take us not only to the direction of La Republic, but take us into other directions. Which means these directions will make us uh, leave, leave the revolution, leave the train. The train that was already getting to Boya, the train that was already getting to Boya is being diverted now to other areas like uh, Nkongsamba or, 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 or Bamenda or this. Because some these people have been bringing up ideas that um, they want, they are still talking about organizations. They are still talking about organizations. We, are, we have passed the level of organizations. We are now in state building. We are now in state building, nation building. We are not here to go and talk about organization or reorganization of organization. No, we are talking of a government, a government that was already close to Boya until the leaders were abducted and making us to a little bit, some sort of being distracted and lost a bit of focus. And now we want to bring back people to fill the government. We are not going to reorganize ourselves from day one and say we want to start again a revolution afresh. My God, how can we go back to start this revolution all over again? That's the question you should ask yourself. We had passed the, the time of formation of government. We had passed the time of uh, the time of contemplating whether we will go to Boya or not. We had passed the time of organizations coming together. We had a government, the Federal Republic of Ambazonia government and cabinet, made up of ambassadors, made up of secretaries of states, made up of of, uh, of our under secretaries, made up of regional country heads, made up of spokespeople for all the regions, made up of uh, uh, bank accounts in Bank of America, uh, a website where design where you people can contribute money, www.ambagov.org. We had all the agencies and everything were crafted. Oh yes, some people said it's a virtual republic. It starts from virtual republic to real. Because we do not get to Boya overnight before we start thinking about finance, start thinking about communication, start thinking about who is going to be the president, who is going to be the secretary of defense. We, we don't do that. We have to start it virtual. Then when we finally get to Boya, we plant it on the ground. That's how all governments have been formed from a true liberation struggle. When Yaya Jemia, the, 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 the president of uh, uh, the other Africa, Guinea, 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 something like that, what happened to Yaya Jemia? Yaya Jemia, or the president, is it the president of what? Yaya Jemia? What, what happened to him? He was resisting. He was a dictator. He stayed in power. He did not want to go out. And when, when, when the president, the pres somebody won him in an election, he chased the person out of the country. The person just moved into the neighboring country and started building his own virtual republic in the neighboring country. And at the end of the day, what happened? When, when people saw that this guy had good reasons for, for opposing the government of Yaja Jemia, and they saw the butchery, the same butchery, kind of butchery that Yawunde is orchestrating on the citizens, they saw that they, it was the same kind of butchery whereby he would disappear and kill people, torture them to death into chambers, gas chambers, and all those other things. They decided to support the opposition leader who was now based in a neighboring country. And they, 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 at the end of the day, when he had had a lot of support by building his own virtual republic, having all the arms of government, appointing all his cabinet, the, the neighboring country and the United Nations simply gave the Aya Jemia an ultimatum to leave the country. And when he left the country, they merely just brought that virtual republic that had been established and planted it on the territory. And this is how this revolution is going. This revolution is going because of the idea that we have, the idea that we have for coming up, the idea that we have for coming up with the virtual republic, which is gradually becoming, which La Republic, La Republic is, 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 uh, is a very, very, um, uh, uh, angry, very, very angry that this virtual republic is, is, is coming, is, is almost coming to be a, a, a realistic republic, a realistic republic. So, uh, you can see for yourself that when they decided to capture our leaders, when they decided to team up with Nigeria or gang up with Nigeria and some people to hijack or abduct our leaders and disappear with them into, in, 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 into, into wherever they have gone with them, we have not given up the struggle and we have been simply re-energized re because we have come up with our new vibrant leaders 
who are expected to lead us to Boya. Yeah, so for, for your so for your information, for your information and all those who are who, who have the cables or the cable lines of La Republic, just tell them that they have failed and they have failed woefully because each time they abduct the leaders of Ambazonia, the new set of leaders that come up are more, much more stronger and much more pushful than even the ones that you have just uh, 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 kidnapped or captured. Yeah, when you took Mancho BBC, you thought that was the end of the Coffin Revolution. Two years, close to two years today, we are still in the revolution and the revolution gets stronger and stronger. So, uh, ladies and gentlemen, I came here today for that. Yeah, Yaya Jamia was the president of Gambia. Yeah, Gambia. He he escaped. He escaped from the country. He escaped and gave gave power to 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 to, to someone whom he had chased and was living in another country. He did, he just formed his government, created everything so right. And when Yaya Jamia had no popularity anymore, and uh, because of his human rights records and whatsoever, they had to chase him away. And they, they, even the United Nations supported that he should vacate uh, the country. He left the country like a thief. And the person who had formed a virtual republic, like what we they are telling us that we have just created, simply moved in and implanted all his cabinet into the country, and now that's the government of Gambia. So please, uh, those doubting Thomases who think that uh, uh, we we when we talk of the Federal Republic of Amazonia, and when we form governments abroad and try to. Uh, uh, move closer to realizing our dream those who think that uh, we are daydreamers uh they are simply uh sitting on the bad side of history so today is a very great day because uh we have had the a replacement we have had a replacement of our uh not really a replacement but an acting an acting interim president has been chosen and an acting vice the acting interim president is Dr. Samuel Sako, whom you people know as Dr. Common Sense. And uh, his vice is going to be uh, Mr. Milton Tucker. So these are the two people who are going to continue the journey to Boya. Uh, while, while we are waiting to see uh, that our president and the entourage that were abducted can return and join the revolution. So that is the news I bring to you this evening. And I believe that tomorrow, uh, Secretary Chris Arno will be coming live. And I will also come immediately after Secretary Chris to examine on some of the issues which I highlighted in my previous, in my previous video, which was about this issue of non-compliance by La Republic with our ultimatum of showing us where our leaders are if you say you have our leaders show us our leaders we issued an ultimatum which was five days and uh, tomorrow tomorrow is um yeah no, uh, yeah monday monday which is the feed yeah which we expect to have uh we expect to have a response failure for which we have to come up with stern measures stern measures Ten measures that the Republic will know that we mean business. So, as Secretary Chris Arno will come tomorrow live to outline to you people the position of the interim government insofar as non compliance of the ultimatum by La Republic de Cameroon is where we stand in terms of decision making to, 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 to issue some sort of guidelines for this revolution that will make La Republic understand that we either live free or we die. We either live free or we die. So La Republic should know that because we don't, we mean business. We mean business. The five days ultimatum, we requested them to show us where our leaders are. Show us, if you say you are keeping them, show us where they are, give them access to their attorney rights allow family members to have to be able to communicate with them you have claimed you isa chiruma bakari have claimed that you are keeping our leaders but you haven't shown us any pictures what airport they flew into how they flew in what detention facility is keeping them 
what television station has covered them, who has visited them. You could keep on conniving because it seems as if this is an international gangsterism. The whole world has, gang, has ganged up against the people of Ambazonia because if the United Nations is telling us that they saw our leaders even in Nigeria or right now or they are in touch with our leaders, they should be able to show us photographs of where they met the leaders and how they met them. If the United Nations is not giving us pictures as well and not giving us images of our leaders, therefore the United Nations seem to be covering up the mess that has been committed by La Republic and Nigeria. So we will not stay and we will not keep on doing a fact finding because staying, keep on uh, repeating the same questions over and over of show us our leaders, where are our leaders who are nowhere to be found means that they are they want to stifle our struggle on the same spot <clears throat> keep the struggle on the same spot with those questions and by so doing they are using the leaders now the abducted leaders now as a power tussle for the revolution and to kill the revolution we know this more than them the technique they are playing we have unraveled it as ngambe people of the revolution that we are and mark you Mark you, Dr. Sako is also a Gambian man of the revolution because he knows much more. He has been telling you people common sense is not common. He has been digging into all the difficult aspects of this revolution. Sometimes I come, I communicate with him to try to know and we put our heads together because he's also a psychologist. He's a psychologist, Christian counselor, and a behavioral counselor as well. So he knows about some of these things. He can see some of these things so clearly. So you guys have a very nice choice because he is going to he, he understands that the card that the republic is playing i mean in some of his lectures on facebook you have heard about her he he explains and he describes a little revolution to most of you he tells you people the components of a revolution he tells you people um uh, he unraveled the cards he unravels the cards the cards of the other party before it happens he he he, he knows what exactly is going through the minds and the hearts of the people of La Republic, the minds and the hearts of the people of France, the minds and the hearts of the people of Nigeria, and what kind of game they must have been playing with all these our leaders, using those, using the leaders as a bait, using the leaders as an instrument to stifle our revolution, our God ordained revolution. We shall not allow that to happen. We shall not allow that to happen. We, the people of Ambazonia, we have decided, and that is why today we have un we have unraveled or we have unveiled our new leaders to you people we have the acting interim president dr samuel sako alias dr common sense and the acting vice president milton tucker so that is the information that i came up this evening to to re-echo i came up to re-echo somebody's asking about surrogates can never stop some independent minds in the struggle that, yeah, true, 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 true. I know that surrogates, surrogates are followers of a particular, <laughs> I don't know. But the issue is that you guys should understand that we, <clears throat> we have passed the level of organizations. We are no more at the organizational level of this revolution, whereby we had many organizations struggling to unite or struggling to forge ahead to see how they can accomplish the task of nation building or achieve making boya become real we have we are in the process of nation building we already have a government we already have a nation we we are not yet in that nation we are struggling to get to that nation but we already have a government that will be planted in that nation and we have various arms of government various arms of uh, arms of government we have various offices we have various uh, already diplomatic services like we have ambassadors and other of, of the various areas what we are thinking now is just to some sort of look at the areas where our government is lacking to try to build to try to build and for that every ambassador that has good ideas can come in and help in the building of the nation not for distractions of let's 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 dissolve the interim government let's dissolve so when you build a house and you discover that 
there are there are there are holes or some sort of uh, uh, leaks. Do you just throw the house down and then start building again, or you look for how you can fix this or fix that or fix that so that the house can be perfect? That is exactly what we have to do. So anybody who is talking, telling you people about how they are going to dissolve and start from scratch, forget about those people. Those people are working with La Republic. And those kind of people who bring these kind of ideas are responsible or must have been the brains behind the abduction of our leaders. So uh, please, without mincing words, you need to watch out some of the language that is on social media. Oh, we, we don't want to spend all our time, I mean, uh, uh, concentrating on, on, on accusing uh, or, or listening to this has uh, accused this person of this, or this did that with this person, and the other one did that to the other person, or else we will be, we have played, we have played, or else we, we must have played into the, we will be playing into the playbook of La Republic. Because the playbook of La Republic has been to stifle, to stick us on one spot. Either we are complaining our, about our leaders who are missing, or we are pointing fingers about John Baakoro did this, uh, Milan did that, or this did that. That is how we are stifled. The revolution ends there. We are bigger than that. We, we have to jump past those levels. We have skipped. You know, when we look at all those things, we know that these are the distractions. These are the distractions. We have to skip them. So we have decided to skip it today. We have skipped those distractions today by bringing leaders who will make decisions. And we under, you should understand that in the absence of Seseko, our president, there were some major decisions that could not be signed by a particular individual. That For that, those decisions to be signed about this revolution, they have to consult from ground zero, or consult from people who are in detention, whom we cannot see, and some decisions need to be signed by the president. Some decisions need to be taken by the president. So when once they took away our leaders, once they took away our president, every, every, there was commotion. There was pandemonium and confusion. We were stifled on many fronts, stuck on decision, major decision making because we can decide and talk and talk and they need to be the signature of the president to move that motion forward. And the motion is not able to go forward because the president is not to be found. So from today, we have decided to bring that very per that person who can sign all those papers, who can make nominations, who can clean the house, who can clean the house, who can look at all these grievances of the people of Ambazonia and know that the people of Ambazonia do not need the services of certain people at this time who are guilty of certain, certain, certain allegations. They have to stand aside. They have to step, step, step back and allow people with level-headed, people or allow level-headed people or people with uh, 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 good reasoning and, 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 and clear minds to finish this journey to Boya. To finish this journey to Boya. Yes. So uh, that is what I want to tell you people tonight that we are going to we are going to work with uh, with all the powers that be. The IG is going to collaborate with all the powers that be to make sure that Boya becomes real. Boya shall not become real, shall not become real with a lot of organizations trying to create organizations. Boya shall become real when organizations jump on board the train of nation building and continue where the train had already arrived, had already, had already stopped because of the abduction of the leaders. That's where, that's where we are going. And the, the interim president assume the responsibilities and have the full powers of the president. Any decision that the interim president shall take is binding when, once the president returns. The interim president has a duty to, to, to restructure, to restructure the interim government to suit, to suit his comfortability and the comfortability and welfare and security of the other members on board. So this is what we have to know. And the, and the interim president has a right to work with, in collaboration with every Amazonian that he sees that is having a good will or is, 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 is focused on 
the, our goal, our goal, our priority, which is taking us to Boya. Yeah, but anybody who has been found, uh, who have been accused of any kind of, any kind of links with of whatsoever, has to give that person needs to take a break even before the interim government tells the person to take a break. That individual has to take a break. I believe that that's the position that the interim government is going to take, because I know that the person who is coming to office. It's a no-nonsense person. If something is not logical, it doesn't tie. He's a man of God, and he knows how to, you know, not only being a psychologist or a counselor at the doctorate level, he's a spiritual, a spiritually strong somebody who has who has that ability of of this of, of, of who is visionary. I mean, has that. Uh, no, that ability to see things before they occur and to make good and sound judgment. So I, I think, I think, I think, I believe that he will not be, he will not be that kind of a person that will be able to work with, uh, with in a dirty environment, in a dirty environment. Because this is the time that some people who have had allegations and accusations have to, have to, have to, have to step behind, have to step behind. Yeah, have to step behind. So uh, that's my opinion, though. That's my opinion, and uh, I think I think you guys will be getting um, you'll be getting our new president address and the new presidential address coming up uh, before the end of the week. Yeah, then the presidential address will be coming up before the end of the week. But there's one good news that I've brought to you today is that we have had we have had an acting press acting interim president, and we have had an acting vice president today announced to you people by secretary. For communication chris anu and then uh, we, we the, the good news also is that our our acting president is resides in the united states of america which is a protected state which is a no-nonsense state when it comes to uh, all those abductions and stuff that can happen here not that type of shithole places like nigeria where they can come in and just take you overnight and disappear into the dungeon we will that doesn't happen here. And let me tell you, the Federal Republic of Ambazonia will be officially registered in the United States because this is a country that accepts accepts uh, um, diversity and it accepts, it recognizes people, recognizes the right of people to, to, to come together under an umbrella and uh, put their ideas on the table. It's a land of democracy because if we, if we put our ideas together in a logical manner, and table it to the government of the United States, then the government of the United States will fully support us because here they will believe on on the force of argument. <clears throat> they will believe on how how truthful we are, not the kind of games that the Republic is playing with France. And there, we we will be having a great power behind us to achieve our independence, rather than the kind of politics that is being played by the Republic hand in hand with France. France. United States of America is not happy with 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 the presence of France in in Africa in in, in 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 former French colonies. Continuous presence of France in former French colonies because when Winston Churchill was about to was was about to take take the British away from from Africa, he he made it clear that any European power, imperialistic imperialistic power that continues to stay in African colonies or in in conquered people's territory is doing so at at his or her own risk <coughs> excuse at his or her own risk because they were not supposed to continue uh, uh they, when when colonial colonial colonialism came to an end they were supposed to pull all their troops and leave the people article 76 b of the united nations uh, charter says the people have a right to be guided towards self-independence yeah, guided to a self-independence does not mean continuous colonization. And that's where there's that argument that the continuous presence of France in most of these colonies, whereby they still oblige them to use their France CFA. They still oblige them to use their France CFA instead of you trying to develop them to have their, have their own their own crucial currencies. They take black African guys trained in France and bring them and put there 
who will be answerable to the government of France rather than being answerable to the people. That's why they can shoot and kill you. They don't have any remorse because France will send Apache helicopters and will send white people to come and defend them. And when they make all the monies from selling all the cash crops of their country, they will then pay a tax to France, tax a tax for colonization. Yeah. All French colonies do pay colonial taxes to France, for which of, of which instead the imperialistic powers would have been paying us a reparation for the damages they have caused to us. Reparation. So if you listen to this lecture, it's just like I'm just digressing and trying to judge from my historical knowledge and seeing from my own uh, analyzing from my own perspective what I think is going on. But I know that for sure, we, the people of Ambazonia, have come up with a government, and the seat of the government is in the United States of America, and it will be, it will be registered legally. It will be registered legally, rest assured. We will be recognized as a people in the land of democracy, and La Republic will have a very, very terrible challenge from now because they cannot come to United States of America to take any one person here. This is the no nonsense place for La Republic because United States of America does not does not support what France is doing, does not support what those shit all presidents are doing in Africa. So we have to clean, we have to help them to clean the mess down there. So that's the message I brought for you guys today. Um, without much ado, I will end my session for today. I think some people have been telling me that sometimes there are some questions that do arise. I don't know. Yeah, but let me just say that yeah, people have to do everything possible to contribute. Try to contribute, try to contribute as much as possible. You go to www.ambagov.org. That's where we contribute. Let me type in here. www.ambagov.org www ambergov.org please send in your contributions there send in your contributions there yeah i understand that other people are make are taking some contributions other organizations and other uh, kind of self defense and kind of um, contributions yeah some people are even raising money from their platforms to support the revolution or support some uh, action on this on the spot I don't think that is a problem that we bother about. The IG does not bother about that. Every single Ambazonian has right, <coughs> has right to, to put money where he thinks the money will be well used and accountability will, will, will definitely come. If you are donating elsewhere or you are donating anywhere, you know you are taking a risk by donating. You are offering that money so that it should reach the destination where it has to reach and for to be used for the purpose that it has to be used. So, but if you choose to put it elsewhere, then you should ask the accountability from where you have put the money. So we don't have any problem with people who are contributing to self-defense groups directly or whatsoever. But we know that with the interim government, things are done in a well-coordinated manner. And uh, the interim government may not come here to tell you all what they are doing. Because empty vessels blue will make the loudest noise. Yeah, In the interim government, there's division of labor division of powers and the separation of powers and uh, what the diplomatic front is doing is doing, what the health and social services is doing is doing with the refugees, what uh, the DOD is doing they are doing, but they don't bring cheap propaganda on uh, Facebook, on social media to, 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 to go about looking for, for people's $1 or $2. No. And when people want to fund the IG, they fund the IG with thousands of dollars because they know and they have confidence in the IG. They know that accountability can be given at all times. And they know that the IG does things in a coordinated manner. They are not just a group of gangsters or, or deceivers that have come and merged together and, and, and be deceiving people. Like I can see people hungry for GoFundMe's left and right. No, that doesn't happen with the IG. Not at all. So please, uh, ladies and gentlemen, support the IG. Be, keep making your contributions because the contributions you do make with the IG, especially when you donate through www. 
ambagov.org, there is automatically an ID number that is generated, and that is the ID no number for your ID card. <coughs> Excuse me. That becomes your number for your ID card, for your ID card, and definitely the number for your passport. So we 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 know we 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 know Ambazonia citizens worldwide when we take a look at the at the contribution, even if it is one dollar, if it's two two dollars, if it's five dollars, if it's ten dollars, it's twenty dollars. Make sure you go through that that link so that you generate an ID, and that ID is going to give you an ID number. That ID number will be used for your passport and for your ID card when we finally regain Boya. So you people should know that. So that's why I encourage each and everyone to always donate something through www.ambergov.org. Yeah, nobody stops you from sympathizing with other groups who are trying to do a coordinated effort of one kind or another to put also some money there. You can donate in as many groups as possible. I think I've donated to over five or six groups yeah some within the ig some out of the ig because uh, i believe that um, there's division of labor it's not enmity but it's division of labor when there's division of labor and but there's a unity of purpose i believe that we can we shall arrive boya faster and that's why i think in the days ahead uh our active interim leader will have as one of the prime uh task to look into all this all this all the people of Ambazonia, look into all the groups and look into how we can we can handle this revolution together yeah how we can handle the revolution together how we can get to boya faster should be our mission how we can get to boya faster should be our mission it's not scattering a building because it has a hole or there is a leak on the roof to rebuild a new house as others are saying so ladies and gentlemen i think i've come to the end of my disc my discourse today tomorrow secretary chris will be coming on he'll be coming on to outline to outline our plan of action the plan of action for the people of ambazonia as a result of non-compliance of the ultimatum for our republic non meeting the deadline of our ultimatum by showing us a pictorial or video images of our leaders or granting our leaders access to their families or legal rights or lawyers we have to take the people of the federal republic of ambazonia has to prove to la republic of cameroon that they have taken firm measures they want to meet this action with a very hard resistance and the, the the guidelines for this resistance or the guidelines of action will be laid down will be laid down by uh secretary chris anu tomorrow yeah uh, when chris, secretary chris anu shall come and give his uh his speech and uh lay down the plan of action and lay down the plan of action i will take from there I will take from there i may come back after secretary chris speaks so without much ado it's been your your psychoanalyst and spokesperson for the revolution and your ngambe man for the revolution dr nick santos psych you must have seen that there, there are some changes today we have our ambazonia flag that's to tell you people that the seat of the presidency is in the United States of America, and uh, now we are we are we are already building our studio, where we'll be reaching you live, maybe weekly, to tell you what is going on here, because the the seat of the president is here, the acting president, of course, acting interim president. So we shall we shall be broadcasting weekly to tell you people what is going on around here. But I believe that um, you guys will hear from us more and more often than before because of uh, the fact that uh, Dr. Samuel Sako is our acting interim president for now. And we have to put our heads together to try to see how we can give La Republic a dead blow. We'll deal with them this time around and they should feel the pain 
the pain that we should inflict on them should be more more harder than the ones that they were receiving from his excellency seseko and the, the people they have abducted because those were the people who were preaching peace so the new group of people who are coming up the republic will know no peace that's all i want to tell you guys and i assure you that they will know no peace so without much ado i will end here today and i hope to see you guys tomorrow after secretary chris anu shall speak so he's been your spokesperson for the, the east coast of the united states of america and your ngambe man of the revolution dr nicholas santos i see you tomorrow we shall end without the anthem we will have the anthem tomorrow have a blessed one good night bye